we have, uh, but we, we wanted an off-road van. And we do basically exclusively an off-road touring. Uh, we had a, a camper trailer before, so we were looking actively at, uh, at an off-road off -road van. And we flew in from Sydney here specifically to attend this show, uh, being the biggest and the best, and we decided to see if there is anything that we can uh, be, be interested in. Uh, not specifically, and I was quite honest about it to Peter, uh, we uh, were basically looking at the off-road uh, camper trailers, uh, you know, different companies, different brands who specialize and do nothing but. Whereas Elite, essentially, I understand, is a, is a caravan manufacturer who has branched into off-road vans uh, at some stage. And probably for that reason, we, uh, we never really paid attention to the name. Although I'm sure that we've seen plenty of them in, uh, in our travels. Uh. Walking around. And we looked at the van and it looked like a proper off-road, uh, serious looking vehicle. So. Uh, we walked in and we started uh, talking, asked questions, and and guess what happened? <laughs> Spent it up, ended up spending a lot of money. <laughs> it is slightly bigger, uh, it is slightly heavier, uh, definitely more comfortable, and unlike most vans outside, it employs the same latest technology. That the other company does so basically we were looking at two vans fairly similar price this one being slightly bigger uh, perhaps less uh, more limiting off-road but giving us uh, uh, more comfort uh, turning 60 this year we are looking we, we're quite happy to try it, uh, the off-road cap capabilities or extreme off-road capabilities for convenience uh, so as a mix, as a package, uh, this was more attractive to us than something that could perhaps do more ex extreme off-roading, which we no longer are interested in, but is less comfortable. Uh, so yeah, quality, capabilities and comfort, three, three main items. <sighs> yes, it was absolutely hectic and, uh, and we were very tired, uh, both yesterday and today. Uh, but we're happy uh, because we ended up with uh, something that hopefully we'll be uh, very happy with going into the future, you know, and uh, if it works for, out, for us, we would like to keep it for at least five years, perhaps longer. Very pleasurable, very, it's almost old-fashioned, you know, coming from someone who is, who's been around very long and remembers different times, right? Uh, uh, these days everything, everything happens on the internet, uh, there is very little person-to-person -person contact, there is very, very little care, it's all about numbers. It's all numbers game, right? And I don't need to tell you about it. So, uh, what we have found about people working here, uh, that you still get this personal attention, uh, they ask questions, they're interested, uh, they're happy to answer. There is a lot of flexibility in uh, what you can and cannot have, uh, options and things like that. Uh, it's more geared towards customer uh, rather than making numbers, you know. That's the feel we got and we liked it, you know. If the after-sale uh, service and after-sale uh, you know, attention is as good as uh, what we had here today, then we'll be happy campers. <laughs> My wife, Maya, yes, uh, she liked the colors uh, and uh, the fit and finish. You will, uh, I'm sure you have noticed that most vans are very conservatively designed with compulsory uh, timber uh, finish. Your cupboards are all uh, false or, or real timber uh, and so on, right? Uh, we don't like that. We like modern finishes. We like our grays and our blacks. Uh, uh, and we could see there are not many of them out there that actually are finished that way. So we liked it. It's modern, you know, it's 21st century. It's, uh, it appeals to us, you know, we like it. That is correct. And the reason for it is timing. There is a big show in Sydney as well at the end of April. Uh, but we knew that most manufacturers have about six months delivery time. And we want to go away into the outback in August 
So in order to have our van built for August, it had to be done now. <laughs> That's why we're here. And apparently this show is even bigger than the one in Sydney, so obviously that, uh, that makes the whole thing even more attractive. Not to mention good food that's always available in Melbourne, you know, we love coming here. <laughs> we are retired, yeah, we have, uh, we've been retired for six years now, so uh, I used to be in business myself, and so I understand the, uh, the customer service and, uh, and attention you, you can give to customers and, and the difference that it makes. But we have been retired for six years, yes. There are two options which we have not decided yet. Uh, if it's going to be uh, early August, uh, we'll go to Kimberley's because that will give us enough time. If it's going to be late August, beginning of September, uh, it'll be Flinders Ranges, which is one of our favorite sports, spots in the country. And of the two, Gammon Ranges is, is the peak. So we'll go there and uh, set up a camp and probably stay for a few weeks uh, checking it out. <laughs> uh, and again, if it's an early, uh, early uh, August, then that'll give us two months, which is enough time to go to Kimberley's. So across Tanamai Road, to Holscrig, then to the West Coast.